Back in 2002, when you started Startup Nation, you know, that was before TechTown was started, before Ann Arbor Spark was started. Uh, you know, the auto companies were still the, the only game in town. So what did you see back in 2002? Well, and funny enough, we started Startup Nation in 2002, but we actually started in startups back in the early 90s. I mean, oh. we were doing this, you know, really in earnest from like 94 on. Um, I had invented the battery buddy, a device that prevents dead batteries in cars and boats, which really kicked off my experience as an entrepreneur in kind of technology-related, venture-related activities. Uh, from there, you know, we were growing a series of companies in our venture portfolio. I don't think the term incubator or accelerator certainly didn't exist at that time, but right. that's, intu again, intuitively, just the kind of the feel of an entrepreneur doing what we felt was the right thing to do at the moment. We were creating these startup companies, and then uh, we were getting a lot of inbound deal flow, people wanting help and getting their ventures started, getting them structured properly, getting them funded, and so on. But we also were getting a lot of inbound contact from entrepreneurs who had meritorious business ideas that weren't high growth, fast growth venture type businesses. And so we said, look, let's start, we didn't, at the time we didn't have the brand, but let's start a company, an online portal to provide how-to information and inspiration to entrepreneurs out there whose models don't fit a venture fast growth type model that wouldn't qualify for angel investment or venture capital type investment and so on. So we did that. We founded Startup Nation. And, you know, back then, um, boy, Startup Nation was the only game in town. Uh, there weren't the incubators and accelerators during this, you know, r really, you know, incredibly productive Dan Gilbert era, if you want to call it that. He really kind of kicked it all off downtown. Um, you know, we were loners doing very unique things back then, uh, taking big risks and challenges and so on and setting uh, hopefully some good examples. We had some good success early on, but we were there were not many of us doing what we were doing. 